LabVIEW 2023 Q3 is here. And yes, you can now zoom. My name is Lean, and I have some exciting new features to announce, including some productivity enhancements and a dragon. Let's go ahead and take a look. This latest release of LabVIEW is huge, and that's because with zoom, you can zoom in and all the way out to up to 250% of your block diagram size. Now with screens and monitors these days, just getting bigger and bigger and bigger, zooming in could make wiring a tiny bit easier for you, like that. And then zooming out will be really helpful for you to be able to navigate your code and just see it all together right there next to your front panel. And it gets really helpful if you want to move large chunks of your code all at the same time, like this. Now you can also toggle in between your zoom in and zoom out views. So for example, right here, I'm gonna zoom in to this loop up here and make a change right there. And then I wanna do the same, but to that lowest loop. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna toggle out to zoom out, find that lowest loop, and then toggle back in to zoom in to that same zoom percentage that you last had, which is kind of cool. So you can zoom out, zoom in, zoom out, zoom in. Kind of fun, sorry, <laughs> I can't stop doing it. <laughs> okay, so another, uh, another new feature that comes with LabVIEW 2023 Q3 is enhancements to the uh, highlight execution. So let's take a look at that very quickly. So with highlight execution, if we turn it on, it helps, it gives you visual cues to help you follow your execution and your data flow. And the really cool part is now you can choose the speed at which you uh, run that execution. So with a click and a hold, you get a list of the speeds of slow, medium, fast, very fast. We're doing medium, let's speed it up a little bit. There we go. Let's speed it up a lot. And then sometimes we all just need to slow things down. So pretty cool, I think, no? And then here, let's stop that. Another new uh, productivity enhancement that comes with this latest release of LabVIEW is something called Quick Change. If you're familiar with Quick Drop, it's kind of like the other way around, where you place an input or you you, you decide on an input and then you get quick access to a list that helps you choose what object you want that to be. Uh, I'll show you, it'll explain it better. So here I'm gonna create a free label. I'm gonna put in a number, let's say 42. And then with control space, I get a list, the quick change list, so I can decide what type of object I want it to be. I'm gonna select numeric, there we go. That's a quick change. And then this also works with the paste special option. Let me show you how. So I'm gonna copy this column of data from Excel, and then I'm going to paste special, and I immediately have options of how I want this to exist on my block diagram. I'm gonna make it an enum. So here we have an enum of the data that I just pasted in there. Another cool feature with this quick change is if I, here, if I select an area on the block diagram and control space, I get a palette of structures. For example, I can use a while loop that'll automatically get placed around that selection. Pretty neat. Another new feature um, is a new wiring gesture that you might have caught me using a little bit earlier. So if I start, if I start wiring, so I click, and then I double click on the empty space, it'll automatically create whatever belongs there. So in this case, it's, a, uh, it's an indicator, but it's, it'll work the same way if we do, let's do this for a control here. So click and then double click, voila, we have a control. Another way to play around with this is start the wiring with a click and then right click instead, and you get a selection of operations that you can choose from. Now, you heard me mention uh, Dragon earlier. So let's talk a little bit about that. Uh, in collaboration with JKI, LabVIEW 2023 Q3 now comes with access to Dragon. It's JKI's software that helps you open your LabVIEW projects uh, properly and just really fast. Let me show you what that looks like. So with Dragon, uh, if I wanna open a LabVIEW project, let's open this one, Dragon Project 2. 
The first thing that it does is it tracks down the version of the right version of the project. So it's letting me know here that this project was last saved in LabVIEW 2023. So it gives me the option of opening it up in the same version or a different version. I'm going to go with the same one. And then this is really cool. Dragon will also scan and track the dependencies or the different libraries from VI Package Manager that are connected to this project that you will need to install before opening it up. So instead of you having to go through that yourself, you can let Dragon take care of it. Now, in this specific case, I created the project. So I have all the libraries installed. And you can see them here if you double click on package dependencies. It's letting me know that I have this extra library that I've, that, that's on VI Package Manager that uh, is part of this project. What's really cool, though, is if I zip all this up and I send it to your way, and you don't have this library installed, when you open this with Dragon, when you let Dragon take care of it, it will let you know, hey, you need this specific library. Click here to install it. So by, by the time you've opened your project, you have a complete, fully functioning project in the right version with all the correct dependencies. So Zoom, Dragon, new productivity enhancements, you can get all this and more by downloading LabVIEW today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this from NI. Thanks for watching.